it's Andres here and welcome to Crazy Controller. Yes, exciting day because I do have my Nintendo Switch as you can see right now uh, on the on the screen. We're actually going to turn this on for the very, very first time and uh, yeah, I cannot wait to see what will happen. So let's turn this on for the very first time. Sorry for the reflection, but I'll say a quick hello. Hello. <laughs> um, what I'm going to do is I'm actually going to maybe I'll leave I'll leave the Joy Cons connected. All right. So the on button uh, should be just on the top of here. So let's just switch this on. Cool. There you go. It goes into that. So let's choose the language first, then we'll just go to English. Yes, I am in Australia. Okay, we'll go to next. The screen looks really good. If you see it in person, it's actually really nice and clear. Okay, so I'm going to choose uh, the Wi-Fi right now, and as you guessed it, that's right, Crazy Controller. Okay, so now it's going to just connect to the internet, to the Wi-Fi. So far, this uh, process is uh, pretty easy to do. It's been pretty simple, which is great. And think about it, like, this is actually being done in handheld mode, something that the Wii U couldn't be done by itself yes in Melbourne you can enjoy Nintendo Switch on a large screen by connecting to a TV connect to a TV nope I am going to do that later detach the joy-con controllers okay so let's do that So as you can see there now, I'm using it separately and they work really, really well. So use the left to stick to select the next, then push or press A on the right controller. All right. Use the controller with the Joy-Con controls attached or detached. Choose the control style you prefer, then continue. All right. This is where we're going to set up our icon and nickname. Ooh, which icon am I going to choose? So there's a few different ones I can choose from here. Yeah, it's great to see that it's got uh, Splatoon in here. Uh, we could do our own me. Can we create our own icon? Ooh, this is awesome. Okay, so I can choose a character. Let's choose. Ooh, nice. It's quite a few different choices here. Oh, Legend of Zelda. All right, I'm gonna choose Toon Link because I love Toon Link. And background, it has to be a green background, but what kind of green background? Something that he'll stand out. All right, I'm choosing this green, nice. Okay, so as you see, I'm just doing it separately as well. Okay, enter your nickname. I'll just do Andreas. How about that? There you go, that fits. Okay, new user being created. This is added to the console. And, ooh, that's awesome. So you can add additional users as well, which is cool. I can add Brooke if I really want to. But in the meantime, I'm just going to go skip. Okay, Nintendo offers you options to create a safe play environment. No, don't need parental controls. Setup is complete. Push the home button. So the home button is on the right joy con So I'm going to push that there. And now it should take us to the home menu. Cool. So this looks really, really awesome. Uh, very nice and simple. Uh, so we got here news, Nintendo eShop, we got the album. Uh, controllers, system settings, sleep mode. Let's go to system settings. Cool, so we've got a few things there. We've got support, flight mode, which you can turn on and off, screen brightness, so I can actually uh, go higher if I want. 
or I can go less. Now keep in mind, if I go higher, it just means that it's gonna use more of the battery. I just might put it where it was. Screen lock. So after exiting sleep mode, press the same button three times to be able to use the console. Parental controls, internet connections, data management. So you can see there, it's 25.9 gigabytes of space available from the system memory itself. It does have 32 gig, but because the system takes most of that space, it's going to have uh, a bit of uh, you know system memory, uh, a bit less than the 32. But we do have the option of putting micro SD uh, card, which is really cool. Uh, user, so you can do the user, and that's awesome. You can actually skip the selection screen. So if it's mainly you using it, you can do that. Create or edit a me, amiibo, so you can register owner and nickname, and delete game data and so forth. You can choose themes. So we got white or black. Ooh, black looks pretty good actually. Uh, might keep it as white just for the purpose of this video. Notifications, sleep mode, so auto sleep. Uh, or auto sleep playing on TV screen. Disable auto sleep while playing media content. Controllers and settings, so you can actually calibrate them. TV Apple, automatic. TV sound. Surround stereo mono. Cool, so event system update. So there is, a, this currently is on 1.0.0, but there is a new system update. I know that, uh, that came out on launch day and that's, uh, I believe one point, uh, sorry, 2.0. Uh, so if I go system update there, it probably will start preparing the update. And uh, you'll see there, I can actually update it if I want. But before I do that, before I end the video, I just quickly want to show you uh, some of these other little menus as well. So for example, album, this is where you can actually see your screenshots that you take. And uh, over here we have the capture button, uh, which allows you to take your screenshots, um, which is cool. And this one we have the Nintendo eShop, which uh, we can't go in until we do the update. And then we have news as well. So a new system update has arrived as you can see there. Welcome to news, where to get new games. So that's pretty fun if you wanna, I guess, learn something about it. So uh, if I go to, let's say, connecting to a TV, pretty much shows me how to connect it to the TV, which is pretty, pretty awesome. Okay, before I do the update and before we end this video, I just want to try out Legend of Zelda Breath of the Wild. I just want to go into the menu of Legend of Zelda so I can show you how it works with the game card and how do you put it into the system. So let's just try that now. So again, this is how small the little game cards are. It's it's incredible. Now this actually slots in the top over here. So I'm gonna flip this open and I'm gonna slide that so it's Face forward. There you go. It's actually come up straight away. There it is, The Legend of Zelda. Okay, we'll push A to get in that. And as you can see, ready to start system update, update now or later. Let's just do later. I just want to go into Zelda just to show you. So you go into my account. This is really exciting. First time running a game on the Nintendo Switch. Can't believe this whole game is on a game card. It's, it's crazy. It's really, really crazy. Ooh, Nintendo presents. The Legend of Zelda. Oh, so exciting. Breath of the Wild. Okay, stop teasing me, just show me the game. <laughs> Open your eyes.
This looks really, really good. The graphics are really nice. All right, so pretty much now I can actually use the separate Joy-Cons, as you can see, to move Link around. And I can use the R stick to move the camera around. That's really cool. That's really awesome. Now if I push the home button, so if I push this home button here, it should take me back to the home screen, there you go. And that's a really nice touch, it says, it has my little icon there and says that I'm playing. But there you go, that's a bit of a tour regarding to the UI, but this is the very first boot up of my own Nintendo Switch. Thank you for watching this video, uh, make sure to come back on Crazy Controller to watch more Nintendo Switch videos. And until next time, as you know, keep playing games.